Hi YouTube, here I have this HP Mini 5301 netbook computer. Um, I'm going to be making a boot test with this thing to kind of show you guys how fast it starts up. It has Windows 7 Professional 32-bit on it, um, 2 gigabytes of DDR2 RAM, a 1.6 gigahertz Intel Atom single core CPU. I think it has like a 160 gigabyte set of hard drive. It doesn't have a DV drive or a CD drive or anything of that sort because it's you know, too small. Um, and it does start up very slowly. It's not very fast at all. Um, that's kind of why I'm making a video on it. Now this is not my computer. This is actually um, this is actually lent, lent to me for a school. It actually belongs to the school. It's property of my school, but I get to keep it for the year. I then give it back at the end of the year. So, um, I'm not allowed to uh, make any changes to this computer. I'm not allowed to download anything. I'm, I'm not allowed to make any changes to it. Um, I can't even defragment the hard drive. I'm not even allowed to do that. So, that kind of sucks. But, you know, um, it is just ridiculously slow. So I guess from right now on forwards, I'm just going to sit here and wait for it to boot. It's not done yet. There we go. That took much less time than usual. I'm gonna go ahead and log in. Um, okay. I'm gonna type in my login stuff. Um, I'm, I'm more comfortable not showing the password or anything. I'm showing me typing, even though it really doesn't matter since this isn't like an online account or anything. Okay. So it says. This pops up. It takes a while. Usually when I start this thing up, I'll you know, start it up and let it run, let it do its thing, and I'll do something else and come back to it and hope it's done. It takes so long.
There we go. Sort of. I don't know what it's doing. Why is the screen black? Okay, there we go. Usually it doesn't do that. Okay, it's almost ready, sort of. Well, you know, it still says it's kind of loading stuff. Little circly thing is going around. The CPU fans on not really full blast, but it's putting out some air. So clearly, the CPU runs hot while doing practically nothing. Okay, I'm gonna try to start up Internet Explorer just to kind of express how long that takes. And every time it says installing device driver software, that tells me it fails. I don't know what it's trying to install exactly, but it never works. There we go. Okay, and the internet I have here is actually pretty fast, so on other computers when I start the internet, the page pops up, you know, within a second or two. But, um, you know, th this taking a while is not an effect of my internet connection. It's, effective, it's an effect of the computer. I once waited 10 minutes trying to scroll down a little bit on a page so I could read the rest of an article. It's, it's ridiculous, really. Okay. You know, as you can see, it's very difficult to scroll down on the page because it runs so slow. <clears throat> you know, I, I don't really like MSN.com or anything that much. It's you know, it's just that you know, it's a default homepage. So, come on, stupid thing. And the uh, track pit is supposed to have something where you put your finger on the side and it's supposed to scroll, but it really never works. And it sort of works, but not really at all. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna try to get to the top of the page again. Okay? Okay. Mission complete. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut this thing down and show you how long that takes. Ah, those are lagging really bad. So it's doing the pinwheel thing, it's not even doing anything. Oh, I'm gonna shut. Nah. I do not want to install updates.
It always does that. So I'm always waiting for background programs to close. I'm gonna have to stop the video soon because I'm running so low on SD so SD card space. I think you got the idea. Come on. Alright, well, this camera's gonna shut off at any moment. Or at least stop recording. I'm, I'm on critical battery power and critical card space. So, uh, I'm gonna pretty much end it right here. I think you guys get the idea.